Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch today because it's kind of nice outside actually, first thing in the morning. Having my coffee with all of you lovely people. Not sure all what I'm going to do today, but I do need to do one thing for sure, and that is, let me get it, I'm going to test the non-canned jar of this mock pineapple and then look at the other one and make sure that it's sealed really well. So let's taste this. Well, it certainly looks like pineapple. Oh my gosh, it sure does. Look at that. Totally looks like pineapple. All right, the moment of truth. Mm-hmm, this is good. It does remind me of pineapple. I mean, there's all that pineapple juice in it and the lemon juice and uh, some sugar. Look at that. I think the yellow squash works really great. People usually do it with the zucchini squash, but the flesh is, of this is kind of a little bit more yellower. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You guys, this stuff is so fantastic. Look at that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't get mushy at all. So that canning project was a definite success. I am going to do more batches of it. Um, the next time I get a big glut of, a, in particular, the yellow summer squash, because that's perfect for it. I'm going to can up a bunch of jars because I will I will put this, what I like to do with like pineapple, crushed pineapple or chunk pineapple, is put it over cottage cheese and that's my breakfast. This stuff is great. I highly recommend trying it. So if I do a big batch, I'll like do an official cooking video. I know I've promised you a lot of those um, and they'll come. They definitely will come. Um, anyhow, let's Let's take a look at this jar that I actually canned and see if it's sealed properly. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, this I didn't put on very tight, so it's going to come off pretty easily. I didn't hear the ping, but I went outside after I did it. But it is definitely depressed. And I can lift it. And it's the lid's not coming off. So, I'm going to store it. I'm not even going to put this back on it. I'm going to put this in my pantry and save it for later. And I am going to do a whole bunch more of these. This wood has been sitting out here for days. It's been rained on a couple times except for a few pieces I just brought out from the shed. So, my goal is to get all of this split up and cut down at least one log so that I can uh, split that up too and add to my wood pile. Whew. I'm on my last one from this pile. <sighs> I wanted to stop so many times. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Ooh, let me get it just a little bit further so I can pull it apart. This last one here is an odd shape. Really hard to split on this splitter because there really isn't one straight side. So I've just been using it, you know, as a block. So I've got several others of these that are kind of like weird shaped that I just couldn't do on the splitter. So I'm just going to put them right here and get back to them later because I need to cut up some more wood. Definitely doesn't look like a lot, but it's something. It's a start. Yep, this whole thing needs to get stacked up and I want it high. And this is some wood I cut off last year. I just need to take it apart with a chainsaw. It's pretty not really rotten. It's just not hardwood. It'll be good to use for kindling. But I won't be satisfied until basically this whole shed is filled with wood. I think I'm going to start small. Here's one. It's already broken. <laughs> I probably cut part of it. So I'm just going to take this one down right there. It's going to be easy. Like a boss. Yeah, didn't even hit the wagon. Hooray for me. One down, not very big, but I'm not going to have to split those. Not very hardwood. That's pine, and it's old. It's been up there for a while, and I took the bark off. That is a great fire starter. But these are going to be good to get a fire started. So let me find my next victim. 
there it is remember that yeah I think I can I think I can cut that I, I need to get the little branches off first so it'll be easier for me to move and that's a cedar so yeah I definitely want some more cedar there we go that's some pretty wood right there and I think that I will be able to cut this up into logs and I won't even have to split it and it's going to burn beautifully I just need to get it out of here because there's woods all around me oh my goodness this wood smells so good these I won't have to split that's about this size this one I may go ahead and split this one and some of them I had to cut kind of funny shapes because they had limbs coming out the size of this is probably something once I got the fire going really good I'm just gonna throw this in the middle of the fire and let it burn all night uh, yeah I had to cut this one shorter for kind of the same reason and I can split this up too but that's still not enough wood for today I'm not satisfied there it is there's the second half of that cedar tree that's the top it was dangling in between here it may look like it's growing in the in the ground but it's not it's uh <laughs> it just came down finally so gosh this is a lot further back in my woods than I thought I can't get the wagon back here um, so that means I'm just gonna have to cut it up cut it up into pieces that I can move and then cut it up more later I don't know I gotta figure it out but I want to get this done today Got this bottom part down after I shaved all the little pieces off <laughs> but this is still stuck up there that's good it'll, it'll keep it dry <laughs> so um I'm getting kind of tired so I think I'm just gonna haul this to the wagon cut it up and call it a day that's more like it yep I think that that's all the wood I'm gonna cut up today I am gonna split up some of these logs but and before any of you ask and I have to answer this question every year I'm cutting these logs small the reason why I have to cut them small is because I have a small wood burning stove lengthwise widthwise all any way you look at it if you put too big a uh, pieces of wood in there it's just not gonna work especially the length because um, I think it'll only fit 11 or 12 inch length uh, so yeah I have to cut them smaller for that reason and the smaller pieces burn better and uh, yeah I wouldn't think of just putting a big old piece like that straight in the fire it's just not gonna work so I cut my pieces smaller and it works for me okay wood cutting team <laughs> I got my baco my fiskers my wind let's see if we can make it through this brush and get back to the tiny house Get it split up and stacked up. Whew. I made it. Almost made it. <laughs> right at the end of the tunnel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so grown up back there. But I'm making it, you guys. I'm almost home. Almost. I did it. And the last of the cedar is split up. Just got to stack it up. Oh, this smells so good. I'm so glad I got some cedar. And there's more out there for me to cut down. I had to go into town with my boy. <laughs> Get some ice. Oh, you're a sweetheart, Papa. And I'm beat, so I'm just gonna finish this video up here and upload it while I'm in town. It'll go a lot faster. Whew. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.